Hey friends, how's it going? Ash here with Extra Gent Scents. Hope that you're doing well. It's time for another clone fragrance. This one's new to me, but not new overall. I think it came out like six years ago. So I'm uh, a little bit behind on this one, you could say. It's a fragrance from the house of Latafa once again. This one is called Anna Abayed Rouge. And the box on it says, uh, I am white. This is a clone of a very, 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 very popular fragrance, which is of course, Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Kirkshawn. So in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is taking a look at this fragrance, both the presentation and the smell, and I'll let you guys know if this is a decent alternative or even an awesome alternative for way, 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 way less than the BR540. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's check this one out. Let's see if Latafa has crushed it again or if it's just trash. You guys, I'm gonna have this one linked in the description below. I picked my bottle up from fragranceby.ca at the same time as a few other clones. So link in the description to this fragrance and also BR540. In case you're unaware of Fragrance Buy for any reason, it's a discounter up in Canada. So they have really good prices on a whole bunch of different things, niche designer and a buttload of clones. Clones. Let's kick it off with the presentation. That way we can go ahead and jump into the fragrance itself. So here you got the box. It has a little slip cover, like I showed you at the beginning of the video, that says, I am white. And then in the middle there, Anna Abiyed, and then Rouge, Latafa, Eau de Parfum, all right there on the front. Now this is not a 100 ml size bottle, this is a 60 milliliter size bottle, and the size is not there on the front. It is actually on the back, where you'll find your ingredient information, and also a little uh, sticker for your authenticity. On the bottom, you have a badge code and barcode. My bottle expires 06, 2027. And this is how it looks with the slip cover removed. And you do have the ingredients and the size on the back of the box itself as well as on the slip cover. And here we have the bottle, got the name of the house, name of the fragrance right there on the front. The cap is a little bit reminiscent of the Club de Nuit fragrances from our moth. It has kind of a rubberized feel to it though, which is nice. You have Latafa on top of the cap and Latafa on the back of the bottle. On the bottom, you have just a plain sticker and the cap slides into place. It does not click into place. All right, let's blast out a couple sprays. Here we go. It's okay. You know, it's not the, the greatest feeling atomizer, but it gets the job done. So yeah, this is one of those circumstances where the fragrance is immediately apparent what it's cloning just by the name. I mean, there are some fragrances out there that have rouge in the name and you would think it's gonna be a BR540 clone and then it's not, but this one is. So they are not hiding it. This is pretty much trying to be a one-to-one -one clone of Baccarat Rouge 540. It's not one of those clones where it's a twist, where things are changed around. Nah, they're just pretty much trying to be the real deal here, just for way, way less. So how's it smell? Well, when you first spray this bad boy on, it's, you know, it's not awesome in the first three, four minutes. It's got this alcoholic blast. It's uh, pretty synthetic smelling. That being said, Baccarat Rouge 540 is pretty synthetic smelling. So uh, yeah, that's maybe not really a bad thing in this circumstance, I guess. But that kind of rubbing alcohol smell when you first blast it on, uh, it could be better. So I'd say the first three, four, five minutes, not great, not great. So if you spray this on and you immediately go in for a whiff, you're probably gonna be taken aback a little bit. And, mm, yeah, that's a little, a little janky, a little stanky. That's not what I'm looking for. Thankfully, that dissipates pretty quickly. The alcohol tinge burns away off into the ether somewhere and never to be seen again until you spray the fragrance on your skin again anyway. And it starts to really uh, come into its own, it starts to smell a lot better. You get that sort of cotton candy, candy floss, however you want to describe it, vibe that Baccarat Rouge 540 has that comes out. You get this fruitiness in the opening. I think it, it technically has Nashi pear along with citrus, and it starts to smell very pleasant. And then it starts to smell really good. So you have this sweetness coming out and it starts to smell very similar to Baccarat Rouge 540. Maybe a little bit sweeter on the fruity side of things, but very, very similar. And once it starts to dry down further, it gets ultra close. About as close as you're gonna find in an inexpensive alternative to Baccarat Rouge 540. So essentially, once you hit the, the midway point of the fragrance, 
you're looking at a scent that smells just about the same as BR540 in the air. And even up close, it is darn close. Up close, it's darn close. Yeah. So the biggest difference between these two is absolutely 100,000% the opening. Because in the opening, this is noticeably cheaper smelling than this. It's not something where you could get it confused. It's not something where you would smell them side by side and be like, well, I really don't know which one is which. Is BR540 the one that smells very smooth and, and rich right there off the top? Or is it the one that smells like burning rubbing alcohol? Yeah, it's not gonna happen. So yeah, in the opening, this is not as good as this. Hard stop. After four or five minutes, this starts to smell 10 times, 50 times better than in that initial blast. It smells a little fruitier than what's going on over here. So a little bit of a different sweetness. And then once it settles in into the mid, they start to be just like brothers. Just a, a very strong similarity, especially as I said, in the air. And just off the top of my head, I would say this is probably the best inexpensive BR540 alternative that I have. You know, from the Offnons, the Armoffs, the Haramains, uh, Rosasis, all those fragrance brands. And we're talking the cheapest of those bunches. This is it. This is the one I'd go for, period. Get past the opening. It is stellar. It is rock solid. Now, this fragrance is a Baccarat Rouge 540 clone, as I've said a million times. So why does that matter? Well, in case you're unaware of BR540 and how it smells for some reason, it is a fragrance that is unisex, leaning feminine, most people would say. Now, I find it just unisex. I've worn Baccarat Rouge 540 a bunch of times, never had an issue with it, but I know some guys out there, they don't like wearing it. So do keep that in mind. Uh, it is gonna be a fragrance that's unisex, leaning a bit feminine, or at least that's how uh, most people would probably describe it. Now, in terms of performance, this is going to be pretty similar to Baccarat Rouge 540, which does mean that it has some caveats to the performance. Now, for me, the longevity is very good. The projection is solid as well, maybe just slightly above average. Uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 overall packing maybe a little more punch for me, just ever so slightly. But the issue here is that some people with BR540 very easily go anosmic to it. They go nose blind to it. So they'll have Baccarat Rouge 540 on and they'll say, oh man, stuff is so weak. I can't smell it at all. You know, 10 minutes in, I can smell nothing. And yet the fragrance is still there, still projecting. People can still pick it up for hours and hours afterward. But it is that type of fragrance that some people very easily go nose blind to and then they can't smell it. And with this being an alternative, a clone, a fragrance that was inspired by this one could have the same effect for some of you out there where you spray this on and then 10, 15 minutes in, you go, oh, nothing. It's I sprayed water on myself because it's a very specific scent profile that this has. And uh, sometimes to some people it will smell very thin or very weak or like nothing at all. And so do keep that in mind. If you're one of the people that struggles with Baccarat Rouge 540 type fragrances, not being able to pick them up, not being able to get that, that sort of performance that you yourself would enjoy to have from it, this one's not gonna be any different. It's gonna do the same thing. But for me, it's good. I can pick it up for a long time. I can catch whiffs of it. I'm happy with it. Now, in terms of uh, seasonal use, and daytime or nighttime use, like when am I gonna wear this? I say this every time, man, every, every single time, but it's a clone. So when would you wear the original? That's when you would wear this one. I think daytime or nighttime use either one. And as far as seasons go, probably spring, fall, and winter would be the best bets. In the middle of summer, I'd probably go for something else because this is pretty sweet. I mean, it's got that cotton candy kind of feel, that amber woody dry down. It has that, that fruity pop off the top, has this uh, nice muskiness throughout as well. So it's not really what I would think of as being a summertime scent, but it does have enough versatility that if you wanted to, you could pull it off in summer, just like always, maybe don't go crazy heavy. So all things considered with this one, the presentation, it's its its a little iffy. I mean, the bottle is fine. It's its super simple. The cap, I like the rubberized feel. I don't dig the Club de Nuit little fake crystal diamond things. The box is just a box. Atomizer, yeah. So as far as clone fragrances go, it's not bad. I've seen way worse, presentation-wise. The fragrance itself, really good once you get past the opening. The opening is not 
fantastic. I mean, you could maybe kind of think of this as like with having the opening be iffy. This is the Club de Nuit Intense Man of Baccarat Rouge 540. Because Club de Nuit Intense Man, super popular, inexpensive, good performance. And it's an alternative, of course, to Creed's Aventus. But the opening to that fragrance is a little, a little iffy. This is like that for BR 540. The opening, as mm, soon as you get past it though, smooth sailing. So as far as inexpensive dupes of BR 540, this is gonna be one of the best ones you can find right now, in my opinion. So if you're looking for something like that, absolutely check this one out. Just be aware when you first spray it on, let it settle before you go in balls deep trying to get a big huff of it. You don't wanna let that settle, let that, let that paint dry for a second. Don't go finger blasting it while the paint's still wet. Cheap BR 540. It's a darn good one, man. Get it for your girlfriend. Get it for yourself. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys again another day with another fragrance video. See you guys.